Kia ora, hello and welcome to the classroom here at the Dunedin Public Art Gallery. My name is Jen and this is another episode of Art at Schools where we bring ideas from our classroom to your classroom. Now, today we're going to make some story stones. Now, I've always, always, always keep an eye out for new ways to tell stories with children and something I'd always wanted to try making was story stones. So during lockdown, I thought now's the opportunity. But I didn't have a river by my house, so when I went for my walks, I couldn't actually go and get those beautiful pebbles that are so nice to paint. Instead, I had to think outside the box and made some out of salt ceramic dough. Now, so we've got a recipe for you to make your own salt ceramic dough to make your own story stones. Now, just in case you haven't seen the story stone before and you don't know what I'm talking about, they're a bit like this. Oh, it's a little, little, lovely little object that you can hold in your hand and it can help prompt ideas for a story. So you're thinking about your who's and your what's and your where's and your why's in your house and painting those. You've got a little space adventure maybe off to a planet. Oh, and who's going to be on that rocket ship? It's going to be a penguin. What will you decide to do to make your story stones? Can't wait to see some pictures maybe. While you're thinking about ideas for your stones, consider these questions. Who, what, where, when, why and how. Because when you've finished, the more different ideas you've painted, the more stories you can make. Now to make your dough, gather up your ingredients and turn the oven on. Slowly add water to the dry ingredients and really work the dough until it's nice and smooth. Break the dough into pieces and shape them how you want them to be. If you are making a stone, remember to pick it up and shape underneath as well. Once you've got all your shapes, you can pop them onto a baking tray, bake them in the oven and then let them cool. To decorate, you're going to need a fine back pen, fine brushes, a pencil, some white paint, and any other colour paint you might want to use. Once they're dried and baked and cooled down, paint each piece white and leave to dry. Once they are dry, you can pick up your pencil and you can draw your designs on them. What will you make? What are you thinking of so far? Do consider how the white might be useful in your final design. I'm making another penguin here and you can just imagine how that white's going to show through and become the penguin's puku. You're going to apply your background colour first, getting as close to the design as you possibly can. Don't worry if you can, can't get right up in all the spots. That's what that black pen's for later on. Now it's a good idea, if you can, to let each colour dry before you add a new colour next to it. And a little helpful hint there is if you put a hairdryer on hand, that will really speed up the process. Now I don't have many other colours to add at all. I'm just going to do two little penguin feet and a little penguin beak. So I'm just going to do it very, very carefully. These little feet. When I did that planet that you can see, I had to do lots of waiting and drying in between all those colours. Now, that black pen, I'm going to use that to fill in little spots that I wasn't able to get with my brush. And I'm also going to give the penguin some eyes with that. And a little bit of definition around his beak and his feet. Mm -hmm. 
And there he is. These two can be friends now. Now, you don't have to just make stone shapes. You could actually make other shapes, like a little heart or a star. And if you want to turn it into a decoration, remember to pop a skewer through so you can hang it. Have fun!